All right, guys, so this is kind of a follow-up video to the bore micrometer video that I put up earlier. Um, this is kind of showing you how to expand a choke. Say you have, to, say it's a full choke shock that you have and you're not breaking clays with it or not hitting birds with it and you want to open it up a little bit, uh, this is how to do it. So this bore micrometer gauge is a quick overview. This gets inserted into your shotgun bore and will measure how much constriction you have. Choke is the amount of constriction that you have on your barrel. There are different charts, every manufacturer is different. So just look it up, figure out kind of where you want to be with it and best way is to pattern it to what you like. So this one is measuring uh, at I think it was like 38 thousandths of constriction. Um, I'm honestly, I haven't looked up to see where that is as far as what amount of uh, constriction or what choke that is. But say we're gonna open that up. The 585, 585 thousandths is what the, uh, let me move this over here. So 585 thousandths is what the bore diameter was at the end of the muzzle. So that is the tightest point in that barrel. Here we have an adjustable reamer. This is what Brownell sells, it's made by Chadwick and I can't even pronounce the Threfton or something like that. But anyways, what you can do is you put a open and wrench, wrench on here and adjust this, move it up or down and that'll expand these blades. You can put a set of calipers on there and then I'll tell you what diameter you're going to. But basically you use bushings that are appropriate for the barrel. So you measure it using this bore gauge. You're gonna insert this well, this one, oh, this is, so this is a 12 gauge one. I have the 20 gauge in the drawer, but I'll just kind of go with it. So you would insert that on the end of the barrel and you have this really long T handle. Those bushings would be on here and you screw that in and that allows you to, with in conjunction with those bushings, you're gonna keep that concentric as you're slowly reaming away. Um, you're gonna ream, my advice would be to go only a couple thousands at a time, just to see where you're at and make sure it's what you want as far as your choke to go. You can get really precise using something like this. Um, use, a lot of, use a good amount of cutting oil to reduce any chatter, but uh, using the bushings and, keeping bushings and keeping a consistent cutting speed, uh, you'll be able to keep a nice clean cut and yeah, open your choke up pretty easily. So opening a choke, a fixed fixed choke is not, not something that's really economical to do at home. That's why a lot of gunsmiths do it. And then people that, uh, the tooling is the most expensive part if you were to do it yourself at home. Like this gauge, I forget what it is on Brownells. I think I got it on sale and it's like 550 bucks for this gauge. You're talking just for one reamer set and the handle, 130, 140. So there's, it's a pretty big investment. If you're doing more than one, it's worth it, but primarily you probably want to take it to a guy that works on shotguns a lot and does choke work on them. Uh, it's pretty simple though. It is something you can do at home if you're willing to invest in that. Uh, hopefully I'll have a video coming up on that because I do plan on opening this choke. I just haven't got around to it. Um, also, I'd like to do one on inserting intercha interchangeable chokes. They have ch true choke, rem choke, all those. Uh, I'd like to do a video on that, uh, so hopefully I can get around to that. Um, but I got this little H&R topper break, break open that I plan on doing a lot of work to, and uh, hopefully we'll make some videos to kind of follow along with that. But if you guys have any questions on that, that is how to do it with an adjustable reamer. Um, yeah, pretty simple, but it can be a little intimidating to do. One thing I will add is that ordering these from Brownells, they do come with excellent instructions. Um, all of their tools that they sell do excellent instructions on how to achieve this or get the best job possible. So um, don't be hesitant to try it out yourself if you're willing to make that initial investment. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Thanks.